This video covers material regarding two viruses and their way of reproducing. The material presented was developed by Alan Rodriguez. This video is made possible by the National Science Foundation funded project Boat of Knowledge in the Science Classroom at Ohio University. Now, what is wrong with these leaves? As you can see in the left side, there are brown spots in one of the leaves, and you'll be amazed to know that back in 1886, it was believed that these brown spots were caused by something that we know as bacteria. But it wasn't until the early 1930s when it was discovered that what was causing this disease in the plant was not a bacteria, indeed was a virus. As we can see here on the left side, there's an electron microscope picture which is a very powerful device. In the left top corner, we can see an electron microscope picture of skin tissue. As we can see, the skin is not as smooth as we believe it is. And in the left bottom, we can see an electron microscope picture of the surface of a metal. It is magnified up to 10 nanometers when we can actually start seeing what we know as atoms. Back in 1995, there was a disease outbreak in Africa. The symptoms of this disease were similar to influenza, but it wasn't until after two weeks that people or patients with the disease start getting huge hemorrhage. Hemorrhage is blood flow outside of its normal path. It can be either interior or exterior. So people started dying of this disease. It was later that this disease was named Ebola, a virus. So our discussion today will be based on viruses. Now there's a scientific dilemma with viruses. They're living or non-living. In order to answer this question, we should see how the organisms, the living organisms are classified in biology. Here we can see a picture of the three main domains, eukarya, archaea, and bacteria. Now a question, where am I? Where are humans and where are viruses? If you answer eukarya, you are correct. Archaea are mostly known as extremophiles or organisms that live under extreme conditions such as heat, cold, salty environments, sulfur environments, among others. Bacteria, we are more familiarized with those. But what about eukarya? We are inside there, but where exactly? Inside eukarya, there are five main subclassifications. Opistoconta, Amoebozoa, Excavara, Archeplastida, and SAR. Question, where am I? If your answer was Opistoconta, you are right. Now, if you pause this video and take a look at the organisms in the circle, you may notice that viruses are not there. So if they're not within the three domains of life recognized by biologists, then they're living or non-living? Scientists don't know. Why? Let's take a look at the characteristics of life. First, organization. Viruses does satisfy that they are organized. Second, cellular composition. Viruses does not meet that criteria. Third, metabolism. Viruses does not meet that criteria either. Four, adapt. Viruses do adapt. And five, reproduce, and viruses do reproduce. Reproducing is a very important component of determining whether an organism is living or non-living, which is why scientists have found trouble classifying viruses. So another question that you may be asking is how many types of viruses are? So the answer is, it's really hard to answer. Because viruses are very varied. They are plant viruses, animal viruses, they have different shapes, they have different caused diseases. For example, human viruses. More than 100 